Hi, this is Frank Carmody, and today we're going to create a 3D shape and inventor using uh, one of the 3D tools. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a rectangle, and I want to make sure that it goes straight through the origin point, which is this purple dot right here. Um, and you're going to see why that's important in just a second. So we're going to go ahead and dimension this rectangle uh, to be 2 inches by 1 inch. And we're also going to create use use the circle tool here. Okay, we're going to take the trim tool and trim off some of the excess. All right. Once we have our three, once we have our sketch completed, we're going to go ahead and do right click done. Right click, finish sketch. Okay, now unlike uh, our previous sketch, we're actually going to do a, a well, we're going to do a work plane, but this time our work plane is going to go uh, in the opposite direction. So it's not going to be the X Y work plane. It's going to be a work plane that is going to go away from our current sketch. So we create a, a Y Z work a Y Z plane. Click on the Y Z plane in the origin, and we create a work plane by clicking on the yellow dot moving it just a little bit. We want our offset to be zero. So once we have our offset at zero, we click uh, the green check. Now we have our work plane is a, uh, it is a, at a right angle to our original sketch. So I right click in the blue area, new sketch, click on the work plane to create my sketch. Now we're going to go ahead and create um, what we call a spline. And a spline is going to be just a curved line, which I'm going to start. You know, since we're here, there's really do this. Oop, let me unzoom out. Right click, done. Go back into our tool. Okay, and I can either double can just click and done. Right click. Oops. And we're gonna go ahead. We're actually gonna drag this spline out just a little bit here. Okay. So we're gonna right click, finish sketch. And to complete our shape, we're going to go ahead and create, whoops, not the loft tool. We're going to create, click on the sweep tool. Okay, so we're going to select our profile. Well, it's actually already done for us because there is one profile and one path. The shape is already created for us. So we go ahead and click OK. And there is our sweep. Do you notice that it's the original shape on the profile and then it follows our path or follows the path that we created using our work plan. Go ahead and set our work plane visibility to zero, and find and save. And our shape is going to be Mr. Carmody underscore sweep for me. Click save. Okay, now it's your turn. Go ahead and create a sweep shape and upload. Good luck.